Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Please come in, come in. Welcome to How to Drink Wine by Reginald Burgi. I'm Reginald Burgi, and this is my wine. <laughs> I'm excited. Are you excited? Now, the most important thing you've got to remember is that wine is like a fine wine. You've got to, you've got to caress it. You've got to mold it into a beautiful, beautiful, treat it like a woman. You've got to appreciate its curves and its, its personality. There are two types of wines. You, the, you, you, have the, you have your dry wine. This is an example of the dry wine. Uh, this is a uh, McGuigan Estate wine. I bought that, you know. Southeastern Australia, it comes from. Remember that, there'll be a quiz later. I'm quite partial to dry wines myself, but we all have our tastes, don't we? Don't we, ladies and gentlemen? Now, what you've got to do when... Let me just undo this. Now, take your glass, and not just any glass, it's got to be a wine glass, remember that. Not just any pansy glass, it's got to be a wine glass. So you pour, you, you pour it like so. Just, oh, like so. Oh, look at that, go in there. Oh, now the wine is all safe and snug inside your glass. You've got to, you've got to just, just observe it for a moment. Look at how it swirls. Look at how it, how it, how it runs around the glass like a little puppy in a field. And then you sip. Most exquisite. Now, as I, as I mentioned before, there are many types of wines. Let's just have a shot of my old cellar at Burgi House. Because uh, I, 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 I'll have you, I don't know if you know this, but uh, I, I had a very large selection of wines. Even, even some that, that weren't even discovered yet. <laughs> so naturally, I patented them. I called it, I, call, I called one of them, Burgi wine. Let's just have a shot. Can we have a shot of that, Gareth? <laughs> Beautiful. Now it's very important, do not down your wine. It is very important, you must sip it, take it gently. Do not down it. It's very important. Because wine is absolutely vile when you, when you, when you chuck it down your throat. You, you've got to, you've got to just na take a nice little... You're supposed to take a nice little sip. I'm excused from this rule. I'm an alcoholic. On to our next wine. Let's just do the cap up on that one. Leave that there for display. This one. What, what do we have now? Blossom Hill, this one is called, pay attention, Blossom Hill, and this is a, be very, very, very attentive, this is a soft and fruity wine, as opposed to the dry one that we sampled earlier. This, if you want to play along at home, if you've got your own bottles, this is how you undo the cap, just, just listen to this. The break, the break of the foil. Then you take the lid. You inhale that goodness. Now we do the pour. Remember the pour. Well, not actually the pour. Fuck the pour. But you know, pour the wine. Ooh, ooh, the little glug glug. Yes, glug, glug like that. You dirty bitch. Ah. Oh. 
I'm gonna put this down here. Screw on the cap because I'm not a Neanderthal. And here we have our fruity wine. Uh, the, oh, uh, time for a little etiquette. A little etiquette. You must, don't hold your wine glass like this. Only bastards hold their wine glasses like this. But you, you, you're supposed to hold it. Look, watch me, watch me, watch me. Watch me, watch me, Gary. Put your fingers like that, like you're doing the, the salute the, of, the, uh, of the man. You put it under here like you're trying to, ooh, take a nice little grip of that. And there we go. And then we sip, remember the sip. It's quite nice actually. Just an important thing I forgot to tell you. You must always greet your wine. You bring it up. Let's, let's, put, let's pour this again. Hold on, let me just get rid of that. There we go. Right, uh, I mean, I'll go for the dry one. I'll go for the dry one again. Ooh. Malagugugu estate. Mm. Uh, oh, I'm fine. Uh, this is an important lesson in greeting your wine. Mm. You must remember, you, 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 you go up to it, you sniff it. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Can I fuck you? And if she lets you, if she lets you down the whole thing, you're in there. Now, if I may discuss with you a slightly more serious matter. <laughs> Watch your consumption. Watch your consumption of your wine. You don't want to become an alcoholic now, do you? No, that's bad. No, yes, that's bad, especially when your father died and your mother fucking left you and then your dog died, but obviously because you shot it and then you, your best friend says that you're a bastard and then you don't want to hang out with him anymore. And then you, there's a plane up there. Hello, take me with you. Where are you going? New Zealand, Greece, Turkey. How about, uh, where am I? Yes, we all have our reasons for turning to the booze. We could, uh, we could be a social drinker or, or a, a, an unsocial drinker where you just drink at home every night on Sundays with your wife. Or you could be suppressing some deep, deep pain. But whatever the reason, wine, oh, wine will never judge you. Except when it does, in which case you're very, very drunk. There have been occasions when I have found that your setting can improve the enjoyment of your wine. For example, I am sat here in front of a lovely pond with loads of fishies. Gary, come on over. Come and have a sip with old Berg. Come on, Gary. Yeah, Gary. Oh, fine, fuck you then. Mm. I, I found, I've, 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 I've always found that, you know, telling, oh, bastard! I've always found that, uh, that wine, uh, wine, uh, makes, makes you feel all numb and squishy. That's always good. That's beautiful. Uh. I think I've got glass in my foot. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial about how to drink wine. Cheers! <laughs> uh, tune in next time when I show you how to drink wine again. Ha 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 